Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of What's on My Desk. something a little bit different. As you guys know, we don't just sell watches here at Luxury Bazaar. We're also a huge jewelry retailer and wholesaler. Same thing, branded jewelry, non-branded jewelry, cheap jewelry, expensive jewelry, all kinds of jewelry. Of course, personally, I'm not as knowledgeable in jewelry as I am in watches. Now, that's not to say I don't know anything about jewelry, but I would rather bring in somebody who's got her hands on jewelry every single day. And this is our content manager. Her name is a Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hello, what's up? Uh, I think that's a little too much. Why? You don't think I look good? Yeah, you you don't think I'm shining? I think you need to scale that down a little bit. Really? Yeah. Mm, okay. Much better. You think? Oh, yeah, it was a little too much. Yeah, I think you're right. In any case, Today, we brought a bunch of jewelry. And uh, we do carry a slew of brands, I mean, from A to Z, you name it. And what Lindsay told me is, she said, let's talk about the hot stuff. So we brought Bulgari, Cartier, and Chopard. And that's what we're gonna show you guys today. And I'm gonna have Lindsay tell you what's hot. Okay, so first up, let's talk about Chopard. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. I really love Chopard jewelry. I think it's such a great classic collection that has some really cool standout pieces that can be really playful but then also really sophisticated at the same time. Chopard is really known for their Happy Diamonds collection which so. is right here and you'll see that all these pieces feature floating diamonds. Let me see that. Let's take a look. Look at that. How fun is that? And so pretty too, you know? I mean, this is a pretty big piece. A lot of their stuff in the Happy Diamonds collection is pretty dainty too. Mm -hmm. So age-wise, they have something for young girls and at the same token, some an elder woman that's a little more sophisticated. So stuff like this is really would be for somebody young. It's really small, it's really fun. It's also affordable. It's great for everyday speaking. wear. But then also on the same hand, you could go really big and really blinged out with something like that. And I think that's one of the great things about the Chopard brand, how versatile they really are with their products. Now, some of the older stuff was a lot of fun. Like they did a lot of stuff with clowns and elephants and things like this. So you end up with pendants like this, which could be a lot of fun. And again, I've seen 18 year old girls wear this and I've also seen women that are in their 40s wear the same exact thing. And again, just a lot of fun pieces. Right, and some of these are very rare too. Like I know this one, for instance, is definitely a more vintage piece and I have rarely have seen this, but this, this one is a more modern take. And they come with various metals. You got white gold, rose gold, yellow gold. Now this is also Happy Dines, but this is a spin-off. This is called Happy Amore. Hence, I love you, hence the hearts. And the thing about Chopard jewelry is like, it's super mobile. A lot of moving parts, like all these things, they actually come alive, they move around. So as you're wearing them, it's a pretty dynamic look. It's very intricate. So Bulgari is definitely one of my favorite brands. I love to see on Instagram and different social media, some of my favorite celebrities, such as Bella Hadid, wearing like a huge serpentine necklace. We actually or, uh, sold probably uh, about six of these guys. You talked about the big thick one, mm -hmm. and it has like the matching bracelet and the yes. ring. I think we have the ring from it in here as well. This was the matching ring to that particular necklace. And this one as well, which is a little less detailed, but is really beautiful to be paired alongside with this matching bracelet. And again, this collection is so hot right now. You see it all over the red carpet. You see it at the Grammys. You see it at the Oscars. I've seen Jessica Alba wearing these pieces, other supermodels. It's really popular. So Serpentine is where it's at for Bulgari right now. Yes, absolutely. Now, the thing about uh, Serpentine is they come in different sizes and, and really this is where the prices tend to differ. This sucker retails for $60,000 and there's not much discounted and you expect to pay about 25 to 30% off if you're lucky on this stuff. Here's a matching necklace. I guess this is the smallest Serpentine necklace, right? There's three yes. different sizes. There's this guy, there's a guy that probably matches the size of this particular bracelet, and then there's the big boys that matches this particular ring. Yes. Let's go over some new collections. This right here 
This amazing piece is from one of Bovary's newer collections. It's called the Diva's Dream Collection. And oh, this piece, huge. right? This piece is absolutely exquisite. But they also have other pieces from the collection that feature different gemstones, combinations of diamonds and gems. But obviously, this one steals the show. You can't beat this. $487,650. It steals a show or somebody may want to steal this off your neck if you were in this thing. Uh, what is this thing right here? Now this is another collection from Bulgari that's a little more rare. It's called the Intarsio Collection. But I haven't seen as many of these pieces before from this collection, which makes this really special and, you know, a unique find for Luxury Bazaar, an exciting piece to have. At a bargain price of $32,200. Hmm. So cheap. I know. Okay, well, last but not least, probably a brand that everybody has heard of, Cartier. So, let's start with what people probably know the best. These guys right here, I'm sure these look familiar. Again, I know everyone has seen these oh. on the wrist of starlets. Oh wait, from... there's more. Oh, there's more, right? Mm. Look at these diamond shine. Um, I love to see the hottest celebrities are definitely wearing these. You'll see Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner wearing stacks of these. And you know what? They're great for the guys as well. I see a lot of men also wearing the love bracelets. Probably not with as many diamonds, but again, good for everybody. Mixing, maxing, stacking. Officially, these things are called the love bracelets. Now, what are some of the other names that these people call these? So, these are also called slave bracelets. And that's because they're difficult to take off. Once it's on, it this, screws on. Yeah, that little screw right and here. And they all come with a screw. And they're supposed to be symbolic of everlasting love. And I guess, you know, the love, it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Just like this bracelet, once it's on your wrist. What do you think is the second hottest thing from Cartier today? <sighs> I love everything so much, but let's go with these guys. Let's go with the Cartier Panther. Now, this is oh, that's iconic. So fancy. Panther? The Panther, it's yes. The Panther Cartier collection. Panther A collection. The, the Panther, Panther collection. collection. You see that thing. This is iconic. The Panther is the symbol for Cartier. I'm sure you've probably have seen not only Cartier's red box, but you might see advertisements with a Panther you know, slinking around, um, a beautiful woman. But these rings, are extremely hot not just these rings these bracelets these bangles i've seen even the guys i've seen jay-z well, these, are, these are actually men these, these ones these are, are this the, one see this, this is, is actually these are actually men's i've seen women wear these but these are actually men's rings um well hence they're huge i love the way it looks i love the way it i love what it represents however i have a tough time wearing them because it's just a really bulky ring to wear on your finger. I'm a married man, I've been married for 17 years and I don't even wear a wedding band, so I'm a little bit biased when it comes to ring. Nevertheless, this is a really cool ring. I love the way how this one is actually transparent. Yes. Looks like a transformer. Transformers. <laughs> but also, we have some for the ladies too. This is like the latest collection, right? You can kind mm -hmm. of kind of see the That Panther is definitely here current. somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there it is, right there. There it is. Now, these are some of the older vintage ones. This is actually uh, flexible, right? You can actually... Yeah. This is flexible, so if you have a different size finger, this will flex on you a little bit. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Flex, right. Flex on Flexing on them. And um, yes, look at that great pave of diamonds for both. the white one. This piece right here, this is actually truly a vintage one. You this is probably what? This is often. probably early 80s, maybe late 70s? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like this guy. Definitely. Got the little sapphire. Look at this guy. Look at him holding the sapphire like a little ball. <sighs> so cute. And we have those with different stones as well. But look at that. Woo. Like this is where it gets pretty expensive. The more dime Cartier charges a gazillion dollars per carat when it comes to their diamond work, and guys like this get pretty expensive. I think we sell these online for like thirty some thousand, though. <sighs> up there. It's, it's up definitely there. up there. But it's absolutely a piece of work. Oh, actually, no, hold on. Let me see those oh, earrings. God, these oh, earrings. Oh yeah, you have the matching earrings. Look at that. Now there's a mm -hmm. slew of things from the Panther collection. Oh, Panther. Panther. Panther collection. These are the Trinity rings. So the trick with these is they spin around your finger. 
and you can wear them one at a time, you can do two at a time, three at a time. This stuff has been around forever as well, right. and people still buy this stuff. It's one of those oldie but goodies like B0 mm. from Bulgari, and people still buy these vintage estate trinity rings. And these are also supposed to be symbolic of love. See how the bands are connected and they don't move? Just like with the love bracelet, unbreaking love. And that's what it's supposed to signify. Un un unbreaking love. Unbreaking I, see, love. I see what you did there. Uh, last but not least, uh, this. and this is this called... This is hot. This is from the Juste en Clou collection. The, the what? Juste en Clou. AKA the nail? The nail. It's the Cartier nail, which people probably know it best as. But this one is actually a really special one because it has the it's double or this triple is the band. This is the, la the latest one. The first ones mm -hmm. they came out with were like just a single nail stuff. Yes. And then they made the earrings, they made the little necklace, they made mm -hmm. the matching rings. Exactly. And I think last year they doubled them up. Yeah. So that's a really hot piece to see. I actually, this is my first time seeing one in real life like this, which is really exciting. And again, you're going to see all your favorite celebrities wearing these. And they also stack them like the love bracelets. And now what I'm seeing is I'm seeing people stacking the, lo the love bracelets with the with uh, the nail bracelets and so on and so forth. And, and of course, you have to you, wear them you, all. In any way, shape, or form, put them all on and, and make the metal detectors at the airport go off. Okay. Maybe, nice. I should, maybe I should rock this to Hong Kong next week. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Show them. Not. What's on my desk? What's on my wrist? What's on? <laughs> so, uh, by the way, this sucker is $86,000 in retail and do not expect to get a huge discount on these because they sell like hotcakes. The cheaper ones, like the very, very plain ones that retail under $10,000, you'll be lucky to get 10 to 15% off retail to buy those. The best way to buy jewelry is actually to buy estate jewelry or pre-owned jewelry. Pre-owned jewelry is just a polished way of being brand new just like you got it out of the store. And this is what we do, we service all of our jewelry and you won't really be able to differentiate new from old. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, these are beautiful, shiny things. This is what's it, this is what's hot. So I guess to recap, if you had to pick the one brand that's like it today, which would it be? Miss A Cartier. Cartier. It's classic, it's timeless, it's always hot. You know, people want to say, hey, look, I'm wearing Cartier, which is why love bracelets have become so popular for both, both girls and guys, oddly enough. I, I actually own a couple of nail braces. I like the nail braces versus the love braces just for the convenience of putting them on and off. Walking around with a screwdriver can be a little bit inconvenient. You know what I mean? Definitely. Now, I normally end these videos and show you guys what's on my wrist and I'm actually wearing a Hublot Turbion, but that's not what this episode is about. This episode is about jewelry. So what are you wearing today? Well, I am, as you can see, dripping in diamonds and I am wearing Odelia, which is a brand that's special to us at Luxury Bazaar. I have this amazing bracelet with the full black and white diamond pavé. I have these lovely chandelier earrings. And that matches because it's like black they, and gold. Exactly. It has a beautiful look. I love this ring, this full armor ring. It's kind of flexible. Have you were, were you knighted recently? <laughs> that looks like knight armor. Let me see right? that ring. <laughs> Check that out. Wow, it's pretty cool. And then, of course, to finish it off, you know, I have to drip in some diamonds, of course. And I just feel like it's a pretty sophisticated, blinged out look. Well, sophisticated, no, it's more blinged out than it is sophisticated. <laughs> but no, the necklace is pretty sophisticated. Someone like you was a little bit younger. I think this is a great look. Something like that is pretty universal in terms of age and who would wear something like that. The ring is pretty avant-garde and it has the two rings and stuff. Definitely really modern. Adelia is also a brand that we sell and it sells really, really good. Uh, again, it's a lot more affordable than some of the stuff you just saw on my desk uh, because it's not a brand name that's as recognizable as Cartier. In fact, there's no brand out there just as recognizable as Cartier, Bulgari, or Showboard. But, uh, you know, there are plenty of other brands, plenty of other options. Some of the looks that you saw here today, you don't necessarily have to go Cartier or Bulgari or uh, Showboard. You can go with a no brand. There's a lot of jewelry out there that's being manufactured that's in the same style. Everybody follows the same trend and everybody follows the big boys that you saw on my desk. I hope you liked this episode. This was something a little bit different. Thank you, Lindsay, for joining me. Thanks for having me. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys next time for more watch videos, watch reviews, and jewelry reviews. Bye.